Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sunu Academy. Today we are going to discuss about autotrophic, heterotrophic and mixotrophic nutrition. Children, you already learned that all the living organisms required a continuation supply of carbon containing compounds for growth and for building their body structures. And the energy is also required to maintain their daily activities and it is derived by oxidizing either organic or inorganic compounds. Such chemical compounds required for body building and for energy production are called nutrients. Intake of nutrients into body by an organism is called nutrition. Nutrients may be very simple or very complex inorganic or organic compounds. The difference between the organisms require the different types of nutrients. For example, several bacteria can survive with a supply of few inorganic salts. Some plants use water and carbon dioxide and synthesize carbon compounds like carbohydrates. They also use simple nitrogen and sulfur containing compounds to synthesize complex molecules to require for their growth. In contact, animals too use inorganic salts require complex organic molecules such as carbohydrates, amino acids, fatty acids and vitamins for their survival. They do not have the capacity to synthesize several chemical compounds required for their growth and they depend on the other organisms for the supply of these nutrients. All these nutrients required by an organism are usually obtained through the food they consume. Hence, several times intake and utilization of food is considered to be similar to nutrition. Different organisms use different methods to obtain their nutrients, especially of carbon sources. Here, they are autotrophic, heterotrophic and mixotrophic nutrition and these are the three modes by which an organism obtain their principle for the source of carbon. Points to be remembered in this lesson are Nutrients are very simple or very complex in inorganic or organic chemical compounds and they require for their body building and for energy production. Intake of nutrients into the body by an organism is called nutrition. Several bacteria can survive with a supply of few inorganic salts. Plants use water and carbon dioxide and few simple nitrogen and sulfur containing compounds. Animals do not have the capacity to synthesize several complex organic molecules such as carbohydrates, amino acids, fatty acids and vitamins for their survival. They depend on other organisms for the supply of these nutrients. There are three types of nutrients. Let us see what are there. They are autotrophic, heterotrophic and mixotrophic. These are the three types of nutrients. Thank you. This is Nanduram. And we are from Sono Academy.